Hi everybody, it's Bonnie Jean from BonnieJean.com. Welcome back to today's video. This video is an answer to a question that I received. Somebody wanted to know how they could add files to their website without having them associated with WordPress. And the reason why they wanted to do that is because they wanted to create download pages, confirmation pages, and thank you pages for their mailing list. So this, is, this video is going to show you how to get that done and quite easily. So the first thing that you need to do is download the mailer.zip file that I provided to you and place it on your computer because you're going to need it for the rest of the steps. And once you've done that, then you can log into your hosting account cPanel and look for the tab that says files. Once you locate that tab, click file manager and then go. This will take you into your file manager for the hosting account. Now we need to create a directory to hold the mailer.zip file that I provided. So make sure you highlight public HTML and then go up to the top of the file manager and click new folder. Now you can name this folder whatever you want, but I'm going to name my mailer. And then hit the create new folder button. So now you can see that mailer was created over here on the left hand side and if you click it, it'll take you into a blank directory. Now what we want to do is we want to upload that mailer.zip file. So go to the top of File Manager and click Upload. The screen will ask you to choose the file and since you've downloaded it to your PC then you naturally need to know where that file is located. So click Choose File, pick the mailer file and hit Enter. That will upload it very quickly to your website and once it's done you can click this link to go back to your mailer directory and as you can see mailer.zip has been uploaded but we can't use it as is so we're going to have to extract the files that are inside it. To do that highlight the file then go up to the file manager at the top and click extract. This will open up a box and ask you if you want to extract it in this directory and since we do we're just going to click extract files. Now once the files are done you can hit the close button and now you can see all the files inside of mailer.zip have been extracted. Now here's the mailer.zip file that's still there. Now you can keep it there as a safety precaution. If you make a mistake with your files and you want to extract them again, you can do so. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that my files are going to be just fine. So I'm going to hit delete. Okay, so what I have done now is I have provided you with three files. And let me show you what those files are going to look like. The first file is your confirmation page, which I have named index.htm. And on this page, what happens is when a person signs up to your mailing list, they're going to be redirected to this page. Now, this page tells them they must check their email address for a confirmation link and then click the link inside that email. And once they do, they will go to your thank you page. So now the thank you page here tells them their welcome letter was sent and the download link was sent as well and it's also going to tell them to check their email again so that they can get a hold of your goodies and once they click the link inside the welcome letter it will take them to your download page. Now on your download page you'll see right off the bat that I have a product picture here which is pretty blank. You need to replace that with your own picture of your product. On the right of that, you'll see things like the product name, which has to be changed, the value, and describe what your product is about, as well as a download link right here. Now, this download link needs to point to the files that you are giving away to your subscribers. And I have put placeholders in each of the HTML files so that you know exactly what needs to be changed inside each file. You'll also notice at the bottom of each one of these files, there is a section that has your name, your, your street address, which has to be changed, and a disclaimer, privacy policy, and contact link. Now let's go back to cPanel and I will show you how to edit these files. So let's start with the index.html file. Highlight it, go up to the top of File Manager and click Edit. And then click the Edit button again. This will take you inside the code for these pages. Well, at least this one is for the index.htm. So what you need to do is you need to look for something that says code. 
So right here off the bat it says email code and that's the section that tells you something needs to be changed which this needs to be changed with your email address. Further down the page it says your name code which obviously you'll have to replace with your name. And then even further down on the file which I'll have to move the screen so you can see it. At the bottom of each HTML file you will see a section that says links code. This is the, the this is the code that signifies those links at the bottom of every page. So you need to point them to your disclaimer, your privacy policy, and your contact form. Now, keep in mind that even though these files are separate from WordPress, you can still link them to your WordPress contact form, which is what I always do. Now, once your changes are complete and you're pretty sure you have them, go up here to the top of the screen, it's on the right hand side of the screen, and look for the Save Changes button. And then you click your Save Changes and close this page and it will take you back to your file manager. And you can do that step with each one of these files. And like I said, each file has a placeholder in it that signifies what you need to change. But you can pretty much tell just by looking at these files you know, email from your email at yourdomain.com obviously needs to be changed, your name here, and then all the information that's at the bottom of that page as well is going to be, have to be changed. So you can do this inside of a text editor if you feel so inclined, or you can do them directly through your cPanel like I have showed you here. If you need additional videos to show you exactly what needs to be changed, let me know in the comment box below and I will get those done. So until we talk again, take care, be safe, and have fun.